Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Truck rams into a building on Abe Okuta Ibadan Highway, killing a pregnant woman and a minor. Zamfara State Police Commissioner leads team of troops on patrol over a hundred kilometers distance. Federal government declares the League Management Committee an illegal body. A DAF truck has rammed into a building at Adewusa village on the Abe Okuta Ibadan Highway, killing a pregnant woman and a minor. Babatunde Akimbiyi, spokesperson Ogun Traffic Compliance and Enforcement Corps, confirmed the incident to newsmen in Abeokuta. Mr. Akimbiyi explained that the incident occurred at 6.49 a.m. on Friday at the village around Kila, Kila in Odeda local government area of the state. The trace spokesman noted that the truck marked BDJ 112 XF was an excessive speed, lost control and rammed into the building. Zamfara State Commissioner of Police Kolo Yusuf has led a team of troops to a patrol that covers a hundred kilometers distance. The patrol was along the Guso Talata Mafara Saukoto Federal Highway. The aim of the patrol is to assess and personally supervise the operational capacity of police, tactical, conventional operatives deployed to ensure safety of commuters along the route. The Federal Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development has urged state directors responsible for persons living with disability across the country to domesticate the law against discrimination of persons with disabilities for effective service delivery. The Ministry's Permanent Secretary Nasir Guazo disclosed this in Abuja at the annual conference of directors responsible for the rehabilitation of persons with disabilities in Nigeria. Persons living with disabilities are oftentimes vulnerable and susceptible to factors such as societal discrimination as well as environmental barriers which infringe on their rights and access to essential services. The federal government has declared the League Management Committee an illegal body. The position of the federal government was conveyed in a press statement signed by the Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Sports and Youth Development, Ismail Abubakar. The government says following the decision of the court declaring the body illegal, it's left with no choice but to withdraw the recognition of the League Management Committee.